Hey, you heard guys, Marky B's doing a gaming see about our game. No way, you kidding me? You mean THE Marky B? Yep, I've subscribed and everything. I haven't subscribed yet. Best get to it then. I hope he likes it. I heard Konami's getting a bad rep after Kojima left. Oing! Don't mention Kojima! <laughs> What's up guys, Marky B here, welcome to another review episode of Marky B's Gaming C. Um, really bad voice acting in that intro, but hey, I'm not a professional, so don't shoot. Oh yeah, so as you're probably aware, we're going to be reviewing the new Yu-Gi-Oh! game, which came out for next gen. This is a fully next gen only game. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. This is Legacy of the Duelist. Um, now I absolutely love Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I've got I've got all the cards that I used to collect when I was a kid. Um, I used to play it loads, and I really really enjoyed the the TV series again when I was a bit younger. And I was really looking forward because I've been I've been itching for a, for a good Yu-Gi-Oh game to cut. You know something that wasn't on 3DS or or um, any of the previous consoles really. So I was really excited to get stuck into this. It's on the PlayStation Store and um, the Xbox one marketplace i don't think you can get a physical copy i haven't checked i may be wrong it's 15.99 which is um pretty good you know so it's not it's not a kind of full market game because um there is some stuff i want to talk about this game and we'll we'll jump straight into the review and we're going to start with the graphics now the graphics are shit like basically for a next gen title <laughs> like the i i have no idea why this only came out on playstation 4 and xbox one i have no idea why it's not out on the wii u i have no idea why it's not out on playstation vita for 3ds for xbox for 360 for you know for playstation 3 heck i don't even know why it's not out for playstation 2 I mean, when you see some of this stuff, like, it is just downright shocking. Like, the, the, it's, it's a top-down, you know, kind of view of the game that you play, so it, it's a trading card game, so you, you know what you're going to get, you, you're going to mainly have that top-down view, but the, the edges of the, of the game are very cheap, it looks like they're restricted to, you know, only a couple of hundred colours, there's no detail around the edges or even in the arenas, um, the, the monsters are, are god-awful, I mean, they only have animated versions of the really good cards, you know, like your, your blue eyes, white dragon, your dark magician and things like that. So it's only when they attack that you'll actually see what looks like a pretty pathetic animation sequence of it coming out the card. <laughs> The cards themselves are really nicely done, so all of the cards have got got that that beautiful artwork on it. So I think um, the kind of pinnacle part of of you know the Yu-Gi-Oh card trading card game series is is there, but it's just a real shame that like everything else was just like. You know, it, it just looked like it, it could be thrown together in an afternoon type thing, really. But, um, yeah, like, it's, again, we'll, we'll kind of talk about it later on. But the, the graphics aren't obviously the main thing in a game like this, but they're not great. And that, that just kind of confused me as to why it's only uh, a next-gen only release. I don't know if Konami are maybe testing the water to see how successful it is, and then they'll bring it over. I mean, you could put this thing on iOS and Android, you know, and play it on your phone. But hey ho, graphics, shit. Story, so you've got basically all five 
of um, the the Yu-Gi-Oh kind of storyline. So you've got your original Yu-Gi-Oh, it goes into Yu-Gi-Oh GX, um, Yu- Yu-Gi-Oh uh, D- DS or D3. Um, I haven't really gone too much into that later series, but you basically have your whole Yu-Gi-Oh universe. And um, it's pretty, like, I mean, it, it's, it's cool for the fact, it, in terms of the content that you get with the game, you'll get the whole Yu-Gi-Oh! saga from start to finish, all of the characters, all of the storyline, you know, even kind of pinnacle kind of phrases in and stuff that's mentioned, which you may recognise from the cartoon series. It's all there. It's just because that's so much, I mean, I think that equates to something like, you'd have to watch, like, 400 or 500 episodes of of the Yu-Gi-Oh saga to you know and they've they've kind of compressed it all into these these five different categories one for each different Yu-Gi-Oh game or um uh game series I guess is what we should be calling it and yeah I mean if you can you can kind of get that that feeling that you know the storyline's there, but it's really, it's really poorly laced together. There's no audio, like, um, speech. There's no speech in this game whatsoever. I mean, they couldn't even be bothered to pull stuff from the cartoons, you know, just pulling speech straight from the cartoons. It's all text, which, again, is god-awful for a next-gen game. But... Hey, that's the way Konami decided to do it. They, it's, it's all text. Um, because there's so much content, because there's so much storyline that they have to fit in in between the jewels, which basically the jewels are, are all you do in the game is is the trading card jewels and stuff. So in between that, they're basically just um little scenes with you get on one side, your enemy or whatever on the other, and then uh, just a text box at the bottom, you know, filling you in with bits of information. And there's a robot which narrates for you, but the robot doesn't even speak. So it's narrating like little bits of the storyline for you. And it's sort you're just reading and reading and skipping. So you kind of find yourself doing a duel, reading a bit of storyline as to what happens in between the next duel, and then you're doing that duel, and then you're reading another bit in between what happens with the between your yourself and the next enemy or duel, and it gets um it gets a bit tiring quick. I think um they could have definitely done done the story a bit more of a service and maybe thrown some animation in there from the T V series or or at least some voice acting, you know, from like even if it was kind of the Japanese acting with subtitles just to to give it a bit more of a like that Yu Gi Oh feel to it, it can get pretty monotonous, you know, just kind of clicking through um pages and pages of text just while you, you wait for the next battle. Um, so this brings, this brings me on to the, the, the kind of core reason why you should buy this game and you should buy it. And that's the gameplay. Now, if you know Yu-Gi-Oh, if you know the trading card game, you know what to expect. And that is what you're going to get. The gameplay here is absolutely amazing. I mean, it made me feel just just like it was when I was a, a kid and I used to play with the cards against my brothers and friends and things like that. And I think they, they, they've done it really well, the way that it turns between you and the enemy. And it kind of walks you through each phase, like your battle phase and then onto your standby phase. And it, it gives you the option, you know, it lets you know when you can activate your traps and stuff. So it's, it's very forgiving for players who don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! So even new people can kind of jump into this and get a feel. It's an amazing trading card game. I mean, this this is why you buy the game. Like, I, I, I was really, really happy that they used all of the kind of cards. They've got all of the, the characters that you remember in there, all of the names and the attacks. And it's just brilliant. I mean, you, you've got a deck builder, so... I, I spent hours yesterday just putting my deck together. I was trying to kind of, you know, put it together how uh, like how my deck was um, in real life, trying to see if I've got most of those cards, which thankfully I have, which is really cool. So it's like I've kind of imported my deck from real life into this game. And you can play with that built deck throughout all of the story campaigns or while the story's playing, you can use what whatever deck that character may have had at the time so i mean that's pretty cool as well you know even that you you get to you get to play the game 
with with a ca character's a specific deck so you can you know get a chance to play with some of those really rare monsters and things like that but i i just built my own deck and that's the deck i've been using and i seem to be doing all right on it so far um yeah it's it's you know turn-based trading card game the gameplay is just amazing i absolutely love it uh there's online play it's multiplayer so great fun jumping in and trying to battle with other people seeing how their decks are, are set up and stuff the one thing I really, I really have to commend Konami on, and I know people fucking hate those guys at the moment. The way that, um, the way that Konami have been treating not only their their fans and their customers, but their own staff is just, uh, it's just been shocking in in news of recent. And it's no secret that that Konami uh, are under great scrutiny scrutiny right now in the uh, the the gaming kind of industry. But having said that, they have done one thing right here. This game is not a pay-to-win model. That is right. Konami, you've actually done something good for once. Now, basically, there is um, additional content which you can buy for this game, but they are just additional jewels. So basically, I think there's four sets, and they're $3.99 each, and you basically buy two pre-constructed decks which you which you don't actually use in the main game or anything but they give you these pre-constructed decks and then you battle um uh, another kind of player with them so that's what the kind of additional content is there but um to buy booster packs to 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 open the booster packs to get more random cards and to try and get those rare cards so you can get them into your deck and you know build a really powerful deck you don't have to spend any money the in-game currency the credits the points whatever you like to call them you earn those by winning or even losing matches i think you still get points for and then after that you can buy boosters for a very reasonable price i think you you win a, a match on average for 1500 to 2000 credits and a booster pack costs you between two and four hundred credits now this is really really good um konami could have very easily gone um the the other way you know oh we can see you don't have enough credits to buy these packs would you like to pay real money for ten thousand twenty thousand eighty thousand you know however many that these companies bloody try and just take you for but there's none of that this game, you can put $15.99 into the game. It's thousands of cards to collect in the main game. They're all there. Your super rares, your 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 exodias, the left arm, right arm, bloody torso, whatever, whatever of that of that huge, you know, beast that you can get. And I think that's really really good. And we should um we should commend them on that one. So so thank you Konami for not stuffing this game up royally. So, my final verdict for Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist is a 7.39812. And the reason why I'm giving it a 7 is because, you know, it's not a next-gen title. It doesn't stand up to anything really close within the last five years in terms of graphics and, and even story and stuff like that. Just reading pages and pages of text. But that is irrelevant. There's some great gameplay here to be had. If you're a fan of the trading card game, you know what to expect. Get on the PSN store, get on Xbox One Marketplace and have it downloaded. If you're not a fan, if you're if you're new to this and uh, really not sure what to what to expect, get onto Twitch. Watch a few people playing, you know. It's a very easy game to pick up, but it's a very hard game to master when you get involved with the trap cards and the magic cards and things like that. So really do um, hope that you guys kind of pick this up, enjoy it. I know I'm going to be enjoying it for, for months to come, so... Thanks for watching. Um, if you like the review, please let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe. Until then, guys, I'll catch you on the next show.